Hi, Pot again. On this session, uh, it's going to continue from previous session. Um, I like to talk about how we're going to set up the properties like material and lighting camera in Cinema 4D. So now I have this logo ready, right? It's all property uh, material is already set. Uh, I like to elaborate more detail about uh, the property. In this case here, uh, let's toggle this wheel bigger. So on this particular uh, logo, right? Um, you will see the the logo, and we have uh, default light on that so you can view the logo from front and the back uh -huh. so on this particular case um, it seems to be like a, a matte plastic look on that right so I like to define the properties uh, material difference uh, for example um, maybe on the base like um, on the base part here uh, instead of plastic look I like to make it look more like a metal so it's going to be a solid metal so it has some reflection but no transparency on that and maybe the color is going to be a bit uh, you know it's like white metal so what I like to do right besides select here uh, I'm going to double click on it so when I double click it up you're going to see the material pop up right you will see the option on here the list of the color which is you can work with different uh, to select with color in different mode uh -huh. so on this particular one uh, it's going to be hue saturation and value and then um, on this particular one if you look at it you're going to see diffusion luminance transparency reflection environments fox and so on um, on this particular one I like to try the refraction okay the refraction on here and see if I have some uh, refraction brightness is already set to 100 okay if I do not see uh, check on the refraction you see what happened it's no light at all but when you reflect on it, so it has some effect with the light. So let's try with the uh, different level of brightness and see what's going on. So this level of col layer color, right? You can see if I reduce, the refraction is being less. But uh, right now the default at maximum, and also. Um, let's see environments right and some transparency okay uh, let me try with uh, okay let's see something um, okay I can adjust the global refraction brightness maybe to 50% and see what happened so you not see much detail here and global specular Okay, so you can see the hotspot light area here is changing. Okay, so maybe you like to leave the global specular brightness the way it was. And then, okay, maybe let's take a look at, okay, for example, this one maybe I feel uh, I want to change the color a bit. Yeah, so maybe have a bit of kind of, you know blue looks you know, give a sense of metal and maybe less one less blue okay that's a bit you know lower blue okay after that right you can see it's automatically update on here and then on the red part maybe I want to make it look like a glass so let's try with the transparency so I check on the transparency now when I check on the transparency you see it's become transparency 100% right so this means if I want to not really you know 100% transparency so I need to adjust back uh, back a bit so maybe let me try about let's see you know about 
25% transparency or I can just punch in yeah, okay. now let's see okay so now I have some you know 50% transparency on that okay now uh, let me show you about uh, uh, the option of the rendering here the first option of this slide on the left when you click on it right it just give you preview so now you can see the red part here is have some of uh, transparency effects and you see you know uh, the blue and the, the, um, the best one is a bit of uh, kind of uh, a bit of uh, cyan a bit on that all right okay and the second icon right here right is give you the render option or the new window so this will allow you to you know to have a look at your your screen you can also set the zoom level or fit the screen so in this particular side I use the um, like you know different proportion on that screen so the, let me show you on the last icon here is give you the output option so in this particular scene right look at the first one output you have the option to output to screen you know so or you can output as a web or output as a video or output as a print right so in this case here I'm going to choose the output as a HDTV at uh, 30 frames per second okay so this uh, so I select HDTV and let's see at 29.97 Okay, let's try that uh, video HDTV. Yep, and let's see HDTV. Okay, for full HD nineteen twenty by ten eighty at seventy two pixel per inch, and also. The feed aspect ratio in this one I like to have a pixel one to one. Uh, but when you say change it to one to one, right? It's going to be a square format. Uh, let me let me change this to back to the custom again. Uh, change it back to the video full HD. Yep, at twenty five frame per second. And then when you render, you want to render all frame, right? From frame you know um, okay let's do the frame rate at uh, 25 frames per second so if you want 5 second animation it's going to be like 125 frame okay and then fill rendering no more yes and then save uh, where would you like to save this file right so you can save it uh, local complete yes right there so the the file, the animation file, you can do right here. So I make the animation file, save in here, right. and then multi plus. Uh, I do not need it yet. So anti aliasing, so I can use geometric, uh, geometry. Uh huh. And then I think all the rest of that, I think I just left the way it is and then close it. Yep. Okay. So now um, you can see the quality on the preview button on the icon of film slate on the left. So you can see preview. Okay. Now I like to talk about the, the lighting, you know. So right now I have all the materials set, right? and i like to set up the light on that so you see the upper icon here you can see the light they have uh they have many kind of light the light the target light right and sunlight spotlight and area light infinity lights and you know different type of light um okay let me try to set the sample one uh i think I'm going to use the target light uh, okay so when you activate the light right and the default light will be automatic off so that's mean 
if you want to set up your light, you need to set it properly. Otherwise, you're not going to see anything because the default light is gone. So now you can see the problem when the light, when you add the light, right, it's point to center of the world right here. Uh -huh. So it's not point to the models. Now uh, what you have on the light, right, as far as you can see on here, let me zoom in. So this is the target, okay, that target is point to center of the world. And then this is your light. Uh -huh. So now what I need to do, right, I need to move the light uh, target to the models, okay, which is right here. Uh -huh. So now I adjust the target and I also want to move the light closer and then maybe a bit to the front and a bit closer and a bit to the front, okay. Now, um, this is look from the top, right? So you see the view right here is still dark, right? So if you look from the right hand, right, you can see why that is the problem because it's just point, you know, on that part is a bit above. So I need to set the target light again and then move it lower right to the center of it. And now if I look to, you know, all scene, right, it's going to look, you know, okay now okay so let me preview this is what it looked like right okay the beauty of the light what kind of option you have uh, when you select the light right uh, you select the light you see all the property what you can do with that right you can uh, set the color of the light okay for example I can pick a uh, different hue maybe I use the a bit yellow look right okay so it's a bit warm light and then i can also play with the pipe of light on here i can adjust the light to be a spotlight or you know different light on that with the target and also one of the my favorite benefit is also the shadow so i can you know create some shadow to make this light have the shadow effects on that and also I can have the light visible so I have a few options of visible light light visible volumetric and increased volumetric light okay so when you make the light visible right you will have another option on here if you look carefully uh, you know okay let me zoom in here so when you create the visible light and non visible light you right uh, you look at this uh, you will see this part here this part is the the distance of the visible light okay let me preview to show you right so in this case here uh, the light is point to my objects right and then uh, I like to include uh, increase the the visible area you know to make it go through on that okay in different angle okay maybe let me zoom in more and then okay let me adjust that and then zoom okay adjust that okay now let me preview this is what it looked like so you can see if I use visible light right right now this is the visible area of the light so when I render you can see some kind of fair allow this part right here and you can see some shadow going on here right but the shadow is look a bit too dark right when you look at the light here and you click on the shadow and you click on the shadow tab it gives you the option you know how much density you have for the shadow right now it's default at 100 percent i can adjust the shadow density to 80 percent i can even make the transparent or different color of shadow and the resampling of shadow so in this case here let's try with 80 percent and see what's going on yeah so now the light is a bit more realistic right so if i want it lighter so i can make it like 75 percent and then preview okay so now i got about 75 percent of shadow 
on it so it's i think i like that way right uh the only thing i do not quite like it yet uh, i like the transparency value of the red part is to be a bit more you know i want to make it look like a grass on that so right now the transparency is about 25 right okay let me increase to 75 and see so now you can see on the preview it look like a grass more like a grass now okay let me preview and what it looked like on here so now it's really look like a grass um i feel it's a bit too much so maybe let me back off a bit uh from 75 to 50 okay now let's preview it again okay so now it look pretty good okay so the idea is you can add more light as much as you like as well uh -huh. so in this part here i like to increase a bit of saturation okay, okay i think it look good so you can see it look like a different material and the shadow look also look not so good uh, not so bad right. okay i think okay let me preview okay so everything does look good to me so what i like to do next right um maybe i want to make it look um okay so i add light on that part already um you can also add more light if you need for example uh, i can add additional light on here to give some rim right around this object so let me go back here and look at my four view right so i go to add second light on that of course when i add a new light right you can see the light is always pointed to the center of the universe so now i select the center uh the target itself right and i put that on the models i want and i will need to zoom it out right so in this case here i want this light to be on the back so i move the light to the back so okay let's me move this light right to the back okay right now uh, the light is on the back let's see what it look like right now you can see the light is point to the back but it's a bit above of my model you know you can see here so now you probably have to set the target and move it lower okay so now you can see you know it's better to you know to adjust in easier to adjust everything in full viewport so that way you can you know see everything what's going on allow you now i like to preview what it look like okay now you can see this have more detail on the side okay if i turn off the light right and then you see what happened this is quite dark on this part on the edge of the logo but if I turn it on by clicking this, right, and I, okay, zoom in, and then I can preview. So now I can see this corner right here is look very, very nice, right? So I can see the edge of it. So, okay, what I like to do, maybe I just like to move the light a bit lower so I can see the edge right here. It's catching up more light on that. Okay, let me increase that and zoom out a bit then set the guy here and move to the side and i can adjust the light wider so now you can see it's getting brighter on this lower corner and preview it oh that's how it looks right on the side okay now i think it's good enough i like that part already so i like to add the camera into the scene okay so now i have to go to the camera and click and hold it um you will see a, a lot of option on here right on the light version you have only camera and target camera but on the full version you have a stereo camera motion camera and you know extra camera on here you know camera with crane so in this case here i'm just going to show you the target camera again right when you add the camera into that with the target the target is always point to the center of the world so now i move this center you know to the logo okay 
right now I just move it right align with the center of the logo right there okay and then I can change this perspective view into my camera view right my camera is right here so I go to camera and go to use camera from default camera to this camera so now this is the way um, on this perspective view right is the way you look or you see from your camera so if I move the camera you know move the camera closer you can see the view is respond to my camera right now okay so now I can set a perfect scene with the camera.